Yeah, hey guys. Out here in Mesa, Pioneer Park. Got Mesa PD. Messing with a homeless guy. Hey guys, uh, they just passed a law that these cities, that the, each city can can arrest or ticket the homeless if they're camping. They are not allowed to camp. So they are allowed to arrest and they can be under arrest or ticketed. Oh, I don't want to be recorded. You're in public, lady. You're in public space. Yeah, I'm, I'm a DV shelter. My views are going to need to know where I'm at. Well, you can, you can watch somewhere else. Then. I keep my cameras on the cops. Oh, okay. Appreciate it. Unless they're harassing you. They said that they were asking them if they wanted resources. And of course, guys, we know that's bullshit. We know 100% that's bullshit. But yes, guys, they they just passed a law today that the homeless is not allowed to camp. So they are going to start ticketing them and or arresting them for if they put up a tent. I am going to become their shadow. They said they're out here seeing if the homeless wants any resources. Now, they ask them if they want resources, but they don't have enough resources to give them. There's not enough beds for the homeless in Maricopa County. But I know that they're here checking to see if they can't get IDs and stuff like that. You know that I know that we know what they're actually here for. But now that they got a camera on them,
Oh, also guys, something, something that would help us um, cop watchers out here tremendously. If you see us filming something and and it gets it gets your goat as as far as you know that that um, they're doing something wrong. I always say what department I'm out with, <laughs> and uh, they always have a non emergency phone line that you can call to put complaints in on and if you guys would make that call to to explain to them what you saw on the video then that that is recorded when they receive a, a phone call, it is recorded. And if they receive enough complaint phone calls, it has to be investigated. And that would actually mean a lot to us cop watchers out here, that if, if they're being reported by the public, then there has to be an investigation This guy contacted him. So he's reporting something. Now he's going to ask for his ID. Which he doesn't have to give his ID unless he is actually doing an actual, making an actual report. If he's reporting a crime, then yes, he has to do that. Now see, he has to give his ID for the report, but every ID that's given to him, they run wants and warrants. So if, if you think you have a warrant and you're reporting a crime, don't give your ID. That's really ridiculous information. No, that's the best information. The best information. Because you're going to run him for wants and warrants. That's the best. He said that's really bad information. That's the best information. If you think you got a warrant, don't give him your fucking ID. So, so they're actually going to send somebody out to help this guy, which is good. No, 
Mr. Preston was one of the guys we just contacted. He's he's the one you're going out for, but this is a different gentleman. Yeah, first name Christopher, common spelling. Last name Floyd, common spelling. Eleven thirty. So that's good guys, they're gonna they're gonna get him help. So yeah, I saw them out here and you you guys know usually when I see them out here what they're doing. Let's go check out his car. I said it loud enough so he, he would hear that I'm coming to check out his car. He said that was bad advice. That was actual bad advice. But it is true, guys. If, if you're reporting a crime and you hand your ID, um, they have to, to take your ID for the report. So if you hand them your ID, they automatically run it for wants and warrants. So <laughs> it's not bad advice. If, if you think you have a warrant, you don't want to give your cop your ID. He put his uh, computer down. So that's good. He's protecting the information. All right, guys, I'm gonna call this one. We'll go to the next one. I think I see some flashing lights. Spitting Cobra, I'm out.